opening statement, and then we'll open it up for questions. You can't go unless I say that, right? Yeah, I'm not as long as Coach Blair, so I hope you all understand that. Um, I'm not going to be up here that long, but um, great win. Um, what a great win for our program to be the program like a Texas A&M. Um, that's the first time in my four years that um, I beat them. And I think it's the lowest point total we, that they've been held to. In SEC play. As, ever. ever in SEC play. And so I challenged our team. We just gave up 100 on Thursday night. I said, if y'all do that again, I'm going to go insane. And um, they come out and uh, played hard defensively. Um, offensively, we got everything we wanted. We had a low quarter there in the second quarter, but it wasn't because we turned the ball over. We just missed easy shots. I told them at halftime, just keep focusing in, and you'll make them. Um, from a senior standpoint, um, Shaq, Bretta, Four years ago, made the decision to come to Ole Miss um, under heavy, heavy NCAA scrutiny. Um, there was a lot of uncertainty around our program during that time. Um, there was a lot of uncertainty for a lot of people. And um, those two kids made a commitment to come here when nobody else really wanted them to commit to come here. And um, for them to be able to um, have a four-year stint that they've had and to play at the level that they played at, I love both of them to death. They're both great players. Um, they both work extremely hard every single day. And they've, laid, they, they've been a major part of laying the foundation of something special that's coming in our program as we move forward. And I owe a lot to those two. Eric Assis has been here three years. Um, this is what I say about Eric Assis. She changed the culture of our program of playing hard. Um, if that's the one thing I would point to, is she had an unbelievable three years here? Yes, she's played great. And I'm real proud of her. But she come in every single day and set a standard in our program that we're going to play hard every single day in practice. We're going to play hard every game. And I owe her that. Because when you're building a program, you've got to find a kid that's going to believe in you as a coach. And the one thing that that kid has done since the first day is she believed in everything that I've asked her to do. And she comes in every single day with a, with a great attitude and plays extremely, extremely hard. And she sets the tone every day for the rest of them. People always ask me, how do you get your kids to play so hard? It's very simple, Erica Sisk. She puts an expectation on our team, and they play at that level every single day, defensively, offensively. Sometimes it ain't the result we want, but playing hard is something that we, that we, we do every single day. And then Taylor manuel has been here for a year. In a year's time, she's made a major different, or, uh, impact, had a major impact on our program. And um, she, got, she got frustrated a little bit early there, but she just kept playing, kept playing. She's a tough matchup and um, unbelievable person. She wants to coach one day. She's going to be an incredible coach. She's going to play professional ball overseas. There's no doubt about that. Um, and I'm just so proud that she decided for a year. About six, eight months ago, she decided at Toyo's Restaurant, she texted me and said, I'm sitting across the table, Coach, I think I'm going to play at Ole Miss. And from that day, I've been smiling, and I'm still smiling. And, um, and she's, um, she's had a great year, and I'm just real proud of her. So those four seniors have made a major impact within um, Shaq and Bretta and Erica. Um, two of their four years, um, we're going to be in postseason play. Um, no matter what happens at the SEC tournament, whether if we win it or we don't, we're still going to be playing in the postseason. That's a major accomplishment considering where we started four years ago. Um, I, me being the uh, fourth coach in two years, um, that's unheard of in college basketball. And um, it's unheard of for a program to have to go through that. And um, for those two kids, to, uh, those four kids have made a major impact on where we're going in the future. And the future is very bright. The future is very bright. We've got a lot of players returning off this year's team. And we've um, got the 11th grade recruiting class in the country coming in next year. And so it's just getting better and better and better. But when you look back on it, those four laid the foundation for something special. Questions? Offensively, you shot I think, three of four from three-point line in the first quarter. You got out to a quick start there. And you were kind of able to keep it there until they kind of got it close before halftime. Just thoughts on your offense in the first quarter? First yeah. half. I thought we were really good there in the first quarter offensively. I thought we were really good in the second quarter offensively. Um, we got the same shots in the second quarter we got in the first quarter. Our kids executed a game plan that I asked them to execute offensively and defensively. And we got the same exact shots in all quarters. We just didn't make any in the second quarter. Missed a lot of layups, missed a lot of gimmies, missed some free throws. Um, those things that was uncharacteristic. And I just told them at the half, we're going to get the same shots in the third and fourth quarter. Now, if we focus in and make them, we're going to win the game. And we did that. Defensively, you kept Hillsman below her averages, but she still kind of got her points there until she fell out. I mean, what was, what was your plan for her? Make her run the whole day. Just make her keep going up and down the court the whole day. I watched Hillsman play um, in high school. She went to Whitney Young High School, same high school as Medina. It's a high school that I'm very, very well connected in. And, um, and so I've watched Hillsman grow up in this game, and she's made unbelievable strides as a player through the years. And um, Mac and Corey Irvin started that with her, and um, then it moved on to Gary and, 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 
and Bob and those guys over there at, at um, A and M, and they've done an unbelievable job with her. She's a great player, but we had to get into her legs, and that was the biggest uh, thing that we did, and just kept running her up and down the court. And then Taylor, Taylor can use her body and push you around a little bit and get you off the block. And if we can get her off the block, something positive will happen, and that's what happened. Um, thanks, Don Staley. Um, Don Staley did that in the third quarter the other night to to A and M and um, caused all kinds of havoc. And I told our staff after I watched that game on Friday morning, I said, when this third quarter hits, they about to fill in legs because we're gonna turn loose on them. And we did that and got the ball out of the Levin's hands. And um, you know, we we I'm sorry referring to them on numbers. We refer to every player in a scout report on numbers, so sometimes I get their names wrong. Um, but um, we get the ball out of her hands, make somebody else initiate offense. They started traveling. They had in, they had careless turnovers. They're just walking, and that's that was our whole point. It's just to get make somebody that's not used to handling the ball handle the ball, and we did that, and we got to win. Anything else for coach? All right. Thank you. Thank you.